Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today I'm going to talk to you about a way to get new fish into your new aquarium as soon as possible, as healthily as possible. So I thought I'd take you through some of the basic principles that I use to keep me on the right track, which should keep you on the right track and show you you don't have to be a mad scientist and understand every intricacy of water chemistry just to get some new fish into your aquarium. So if you're completely new to the hobby and then you've just bought a new fish tank and you're here going, what the hell is the big problem with this? The thing that we're trying to avoid is harming the fish that we've bought. So if you just fill a tank full of water and throw in your fish, things will start to go wrong slowly and you'll have a horrible experience and you'll want to leave the hobby and nobody wants that. So what we want to concern ourselves with is making sure the fish has the healthiest environment that you can provide for it. And the way that we make that environment healthy, you will hear terms like the nitrogen cycle, cycled media, matured aquarium, things like that. Very simply, it's about creating an environment in the tank where some bacteria can grow in your filter or in your filter media. Media is just the stuff in the filter, which can process all the fish waste. So fish pees, filter grabs pee, turns it into less harmful substance. At a very high level, the fish produce ammonia, and if there's nothing in the aquarium to deal with that ammonia, that in very small concentrations is very toxic to the fish. Um, what we want in there is some bacteria to process that ammonia, turn it into nitrite, which is still very toxic to the fish in small quantities, and then a different bacteria to come along and eat the nitrite and turn that into nitrate, which again is still toxic, but not anywhere near as toxic to the fish. And if you have plants and things like that, it can actually be very beneficial and help feed your plants. So where do we get this bacteria from? It doesn't just appear. One of the fallacies that we need to cover is if you go to a big box store, your pets at home, that kind of thing, they'll say, buy a tank from us one day, fill it up with water, come back two days later, and you'll be fine to stick your fish in. It's not true. Nothing's going to happen in that two days. There's no benefit to waiting those two days. So I don't know why they say it. I don't know. So we want to find the best, fastest method to get bacteria in there so it's all safe for the fish. What you should really understand here is if you fail, it's not the end of the world. There's always a plan B. The plan B is water changes. The plan B is a fish in cycle. That just means you're cycling your filter, your aquarium while the fish are already in there. It's not ideal, but if, if, if all your other methods fail, if you've already bought fish and you're there going, oh, click this video and found this, don't worry. There are ways around this. What you need then is time because you're going to have to do some water changes and you're going to have to do some water tests. I'll put some links down in the description about some appropriate water tests. My, I have my favourites. Everyone else out on the internet will have their favourites. I quite like the JBL Pro Scan. I like the API Master Kit. Um, I'll put some links down. Often you'll find them on sale. They're invaluable if you're just getting started in the hobby and I, I use them all the time and I've been in the hobby for years. So knowing what's happening in here this is about as mad scientists as you need to get knowing what's going on in here will then let you react to it so if you dip in your dipstick test and it'll tell you how much ammonia is in the water how much nitrite etc or if you're doing the api matter test will all sort itself out you can then decide what you need to do about it and what you're looking out for is generally if there's anything bad ammonia nitrite do big water change keep doing that and eventually everything will start to get itself back into some kind of harmony and balance and you'll be okay. To avoid having to do that, because it is a bit of a ball ache, what are the ways that we can get things in there faster? I want to get my fish in today. I use the technique of already having a filter that's established. I have all these tanks with filters in all of them and when I want to put new fish into one of them I just take a filter full of all this beneficial bacteria, dump it in the tank I imagine a lot of people don't have all these tanks with all these filters, but you might know someone either in a shop, in a club, uh, in a Facebook group that might be local, all these places where you can go along to them and say, could you give me a squeeze of my filter? So you see this sponge filter at the back there. If I was doing this for someone else, I'd give them this sponge filter. You squeeze it all out, all the brown, gunky, mushy yuckiness comes out into the water, goes into the new filter, and that's your, your preceding that filter or you're colonizing that filter with the beneficial bacteria that then lets you add fish and as the fish secrete their waste there's already some biological bacteria in there which can deal with that waste 
So if you can't get that, the next best thing is the bacteria in a bottle products. It's the quick start products, your CCHEM stability, your Fritz version, API quick start. There are dozens of them. I have used many of them in the past and some of them I have seen positive results and negative results with the same product. I'm, I'm just not sure enough to give any of my stamp of approval of this definitely works or this definitely doesn't work. They can definitely be beneficial, so they're worth a try. I'm hearing lots of good reports about Tropco's Goop, which is a very short lifespan um, quick start product. Lots of people are telling me that it's working wonders for them, so that there are good benefits to these. It's something else that you add to the aquarium and that seeds it with the bacteria so that you can get your fish healthy in their aquarium faster. What's not going to help is just waiting. I've seen so many people have reached out to me saying, I bought my aquarium two months ago, it's had water in it. When can I add fish? There's still nothing showing up in water tests. Just having an aquarium sitting, running, isn't really going to do anything. You have to have some source of ammonia, some way of feeding it to, to get it moving. Generally to cycle a tank from fresh when you don't have any preceding media or anything like that you're kind of talking six weeks and it is a bit of an involved process because you need to get something into your tank to rot and produce the ammonia so you can either add ammonia, add some fish food, add some kind of um, a prawn is uh, an old-fashioned example you stick that in there it breaks down you filter seeds a couple of months later everything's ready to go um, you can obviously just buy ammonia and add ammonia and be that mad scientist and test it out that way. Generally, you're looking at about six weeks to get to a point where your tank is filtered. If you can get an old filter, a used filter, a squeeze of a filter, some kind of quick start product, you're just going to be bringing all those times down. But if you haven't been able to do any of those things and you're in the almost the emergency situation of you're worried that your fish are going to die because you haven't added them, First of all, don't worry, don't panic, just do a big water change. And you'll keep doing big water changes until such a time as the parameters start to come into something more normal. And what you're looking for is ammonia to be zero, nitrite to be zero, and nitrate to be as low as you can. Kind of safe levels vary from place to place and person to person, but I'm, I'm kind of looking at nitrates to be about 20. I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, 40, 80 is the, the very unsafe levels that you might want to start doing water changes. But all these things, by the time you're worrying about that, you're, you're almost an experienced fish keeper and you know what you're doing by that point. Adding live plants is also a bonus that helps. Anything that's got life in it, I think, makes life easier in your aquarium. Now, obviously, these are my fish room tanks, so some of them have got no plants in them at all. Uh, and this is a very ideal situation that if there was a problem in here, it's very easy for me to do a massive water change. I have water on tap that's pre-treated or doesn't need to be treated. It's at the right temperature. I can get water out, get water in, not a problem. Um, you might be messing around with buckets. So it's, take a look at your, your situation and figure out what you need to do. But my number one bit of advice is just don't panic. The next step after that is, is really simple and it's common sense, but a lot of people skip over this one. It's feed lightly. If you've just put your fish in to a new uncycled aquarium, you want to enjoy them. Don't give yourself more problems by power feeding them. The more food that you put in there, the more waste gets generated. So, I mean, it, it's straightforward when you think about it like that, but often you don't connect the dots. So feed lightly for the first few weeks just to give them the best chance that they've got to get that filter established. And I want to keep that as simple as this really. I don't want to go out and give you recommendations of one filter over another or one brand of quick start over another. Keep it simple. Keep it as simple as possible and you can't go that far wrong. And we want as many people in the hobby as possible. If you want to be in the hobby, if you want to dive headfirst in, by all means, join my Discord server. You'll find some links in the descriptions to the products that I was talking about, to my Discord server, where you can go and ask any questions on any specific concerns that you have. Um, there have been people who have been talked through the cycling process or problems they've had with new fish and things like that. So it's a really friendly community. Hopefully we'll find someone that can help you out and point you in the right direction. Uh, if you enjoyed anything or got anything from this, please consider clicking that subscribe button and the follow button. I post nonsense videos every now and again. Sometimes they're useful. Um, but yeah, it would be nice to see you at the Friday night live stream at 9pm. And if not, let me know in the comments below what you think. What tips have worked for you, what things haven't worked for you, uh, and hopefully that'll help someone. 
all the best. See you later. Bye.